Hi, this is Pete Myers. I'd like to share with you a video that demonstrates a key feature of Birdseye, the iPhone app that helps you have more fun birding by helping you find the birds that you want to see. We're looking at the Birdseye home screen. First, you can see on the screen here that we're located in Tucson, Arizona. You can also confirm that by tapping on the Select Birding Location and see Tucson there. Now tap on Notable Sightings and Rare Birds. This is one of birders most favorite features of Bird's Eye. It tells you about very recent observations of rare birds, most of them species from other countries that only visit North America very rarely. And it also tells you about notable observations, a bird from North America, for example, that's outside of its normal range for this time of year, or perhaps a subspecies that has wandered away from its usual distribution. The screen shows that there are 23 rare species that have been reported within the last week, and that 20 of them have been confirmed by eBird editors based on the information provided to them by the birder who found the bird. Let's scroll down. eBirders have seen tufted duck, ruff, ruddy ground dove, brown jays, dusky thrushes, all the last week. Makes you want to go out birding. Let's tap on Nutting's flycatcher. You'll discover that this species is being seen in two areas, western Arizona and south Texas. Some of the reports have already been confirmed by eBird editors. This process sometimes can take several days. But here's an important note. While confirmed and unconfirmed sightings appear in notable sightings in rare birds in this feature, until an observation is confirmed by eBird editors, the sighting will not appear in Find Nearby Birds or Locate a Bird in those views. That's sometimes a source of confusion. Now let's tap on Notable, and you can see that there are 20 notable observations in a 50 mile radius around Tucson. Wood warblers, hepatic tanager, hooded oriole. As with the other views like this, you can not only get a map of observations and a list of observers, but you can also get Ken Kaufman's text. So let's go back. Now I, I want to show you a key part of the Notable and Rare Birds feature. You get to it through this settings icon in the upper left of your screen. Two panels come up, one for Notable Observations and the other for Rare Birds. And these sliders allow you to change the radius of the distance that bird's eye looks out from your location to find notables and rare birds. I usually leave the rare birds setting all the way out to the edge of North America because frankly I want to know if a really rare bird has shown up anywhere in the continent. But I usually set the notable sighting radius to something much smaller, usually 50 miles. That's because while I'm unlikely to chase a common North American species that's out of range if it's a long ways away, I certainly want to know if it shows up in my county. So here's an important limitation for this feature. Observations of rare birds will not appear if no one has reported them to eBird, even if they're on a rare bird alert hotline. And bird's eye can't predict what the next first record for North America will be, so they won't be in the app either. I look at the rare birds view virtually every day. You never can tell what's going to be next. It's really exciting to see what's showing up on the continent. So thanks for listening. We hope that Bird's Eye is helping you find more of the birds that you want to see and to have more fun birding.